Well, hello, my little makeup bunnies. Today in this video, I wanna test out, try and review, and see just what all the fuss is about, about the new NYX Bear With Me Blur Tinted Foundation. Now I have the concealer. I do like it. It's more of a light to medium coverage concealer. I like to use it on my cheeks for discoloration, but I'm interested to see how this foundation works out because I do really like the formula of that product. And I think that it's about dang time that NYX came out with something interesting. And to me, this interests me. And if it interests you, then all you need to do is sit back, hang tight, and keep on watching, boo. Let's go, boo. Okay, so I'm Ashley Alex, by the way, if you are new here. Subscribe if you wanna see more beauty videos from me, but let's get to this. Let's talk about details and specifications really quick. I picked mine up at Ulta for $14, which is about what NYX is these days. That's around the price point that they tend to release. Remember back in the day when NYX was like, kind of like original Elf? Elf isn't even Elf anymore, but NYX used to be the dollar product. You could find it in these random one-off clothing boutiques, and they were a dollar, and then they blew up and they're everywhere and then over the years they've just grown more and more uh, in their price points. Granted some of their products have improved but I don't feel like they've made such a crazy improvement like e.l.f. has. e.l.f. really like they've really stepped it up however we need some brands out there that are around those lower price points still so I don't know what's going on. NYX and e.l.f. used to be that that but now I don't know. So this is the packaging. A really cool little snap top. I got the shade light neutral or otherwise called BWMB2 T04. I don't know. Whatever that is. Light neutral. It says it's a medium coverage matte blurred finish. It says you can build it up. It recommends to use a brush but as per usual I'm gonna do a sponge on one side and a brush on the other. And it also has dimethicone as a first ingredient which means we will be pairing this with a silicone face primer. Shade might be a smidge bit dark for me. No maybe Maybe not. On my on my arm swatch, it looked very orange in tone, a little bit deeper. It almost looks lighter on my face, so it's got a bit of an optical illusion there. <laughs> So I think it, it might work out. We'll, we'll see when we go to apply. Now, of course, all brands will try to push more of their own branded products to you. So on Ulta's website, it does say pair with the NYX Marshmallow Whipped Primer, which I have yet to try yet, but I know a lot of you guys have tried it and you like it. So feel free to pair with that, but I'm gonna use the closest thing I have to that, which is the Winky Lux Whipped Cream Primer. It looks very similar in consistency and it is silicone based. That's the most important thing. You do not have to use their base products, whatever. You should be able to use whatever you have just make sure it has the same face. And just for you guys, I have a nice little breakout going on today, which is perfect because my face must have known I'm about to test a new tinted foundation. That's just what happens, you know? I don't break out that often these days, but when I do, it's usually right before I plan on doing some face product reviews. But I'm not complaining. I don't mind. I actually kind of, it's not that I like it. I don't like getting pimples, but if I'm gonna have one, the best time to do it is before a face product review because we like to see what kind of coverage we can actually get, how it goes on to the blemish. Does it get all dry and crusty and gross or does it make it look smoother and nice, you know? So let's let's see how it goes. So I got one right there and then a tiny little bit of redness breakout right here. I used some under eye patches that I think I gotta throw away. I think those are expired. <laughs> Bummer, I did not use them fast enough. Okay. Primed and prepped. So I'm not gonna cover up my discoloration beforehand like I usually do because I wanna see again how much coverage we get, you know? So let's give this a little shaky shake. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. I don't know, this probably, this top is gonna get so messy, this squeezy top, but don't all foundations at this point. Let's apply with my Shop Miss A AOA Studio Wonder Blender. I picked these up at Amazon last time, a six pack. I actually got it during Black Friday, $7 for the pack, but I think the normal retail price is around nine, way better than the Beauty Blender. I'll link that down in the description box in case you wanna check it out. But let's pop that on my face. Feels really good already. Looks like it's smoothing right on there really easily. And I did like it that it said it was easily buildable, but we'll test that out and we'll see. Kinda looking for a light coverage today. I think I'm gonna do a little declutter video, which, that's the case, I've already posted it. So check that out too. I'll put that in my description box down below. Okay, so that was just one little bit. I can instantly see a blurring and instantly see the mattification. So like took down some of the shine. But I, come, come closer, you're too far away. Let's get cozy, come on. Okay, that's a little bit better, right? Now you can actually see what I'm talking about, okay? So that looks kind of nice. I kind of like that. I'm always a little bit afraid of like mattes now, even though matte used to be my jam. It's just, I'm dry. So I don't like it to be too mattifying. This looks like it's already drying down. <gasps> Am I not gonna need a powder? This might be, 
I'm, I'm not, I don't want to speak too soon. I don't want to speak too soon. But what I'm thinking, this could be a good everyday little throw it on real quick. No fuss. We'll see though. We'll see. Wonder how it's going to work with the fingertips then. Mm, my mind is spinning. I'm excited, but I need it. I need to calm it. I need to calm it down. Cause what if it doesn't work out? Okay. I really like that. Let's see. That is a lot of coverage. Actually, that's way more than I was expecting. That's like a nice, true medium coverage, but with, with ease, like that was the easiest medium coverage I've ever used. Sometimes they take a bit of finessing. Okay. The girl was too stunned to speak and my pores look blurred. Okay, blur, I get it. Is NYX gonna come back? Are they coming back on the map? They've been trying. They've been trying their little claws to crawl on back into our hearts. And this could do it for me, it could. I know everybody loved that concealer. I wasn't like, oh my goodness, it was the best concealer ever, but I thought it was it was good. Let's try a brush though. Let's do this like clean, fluffy brush because it's clean. Take some of that product that I have left over on my hand. Let's see if I like it better this way. I have a feeling I might like the sponge better, but you never know. Need more though, gonna need more. A little does not necessarily go a long way. You need a healthy amount of product, it seems. Cover up a little bob there. See how that pimple gets covered? Covering up the redness on my nose really nicely. That's the biggest thing is like my bit of redness that I have going on. Is it gonna cover that? A little bit more streaky with a brush. I'm having to blend out a little bit more. So keep that in mind. Looks about to be the same amount of coverage on both sides, but the sponge was like worlds easier. Worlds easier. In fact, I'm gonna take the side of my sponge here and just press to make sure I don't have any streaks. Just took a close inspection. Because the two sides, the coverage looks so, so, so incredibly similar. I'm gonna just go with the sponge side. That was so effortless and just beautiful. And I can always do an additional little layer of coverage, but I'm gonna go in with concealer anyways. For a quick medium coverage day, I think that this side dried down faster too. So I'd be curious to see how it looks with applying with my fingertips. But what do you guys think of that? I think it's pretty nice. Definitely more on the matte side, so we'll see how my dry skin handles it throughout the day. But let me go apply the rest of my makeup. We'll see how everything looks on top, make sure everything plays nicely together, and then we'll do a wear test, okay? We'll do that, let's go. Okay, we are back, face is on, and let me tell you a couple things that I use really quickly. The, of course, the Next Experiment With Me concealer, wanted to see how that did together since they should be very compatible. So far, so good. The LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Concealer seemed to be, whoops, seems to be going really good. And then I used some cream products, bronzers, blushes, everything, and then just did a very light powdering using my House Labs powder. And very light powdering because like I said, it was drying down really well, so that's good. But then because I did cream products on top, I didn't wanna be tacky. So I just did like a light powdering everywhere under the eyes and here, more so to set the concealer. I think though, I think this might be one that you can get away with not powdering if you're dry skin like me because it has that matte finish. But we'll test that out tomorrow I'll include it in this video me trying it with my fingertips after we do the wear test because I want to just throw it on my face really quickly in the morning and see if it works well with that how the finish is and everything but that's how everything's looking definitely a medium coverage it looks really good really blurring on the skin I definitely notice my pores less so less noticeable pores it definitely blurred it and smoothed it out more on the matte side the only problem area I'm seeing is the nose looks a little questionable so we'll see how that goes throughout the day it's having that kind of uh, speckled look on top only on my nose. It's the only area I'm seeing that. Sometimes tinted moisturizers do that all over my face. Lately, I've been finding some good ones, so I'm hoping that this works out, but I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep an eye on the nose <laughs> and we'll see how it goes throughout the day. Sometimes it almost needs to resettle though, and then it's fine. And obviously far away, it's not that big of a deal, but it's something that I notice just at distance to the mirror. But yeah, I'm hopeful, I'm excited. Let's see how the wear test goes. All right, it's the end of the day and this is how everything is looking. Looks like I lost a tiny bit of coverage because you can see all the redness coming through and stuff now. Not too shabby though. I am, however, because it's so mattifying and I have dry skin and it is winter, I am seeing a lot of dryness like around my nose creases. Like you see all that right there. I also lost my fingernails when I was decluttering. It was a intense declutter. But yeah, I'm seeing some, um, some 
some dry patches, some dry areas. And then on my nose, throughout the day I kept checking. It did look okay, but then, you know, I was playing with my kids and stuff, so a bit has rubbed off. But um, it doesn't look bad. Like from a normal distance, I feel like it looks fine. It's definitely a more tinted moisturizer, but like a medium coverage tinted moisturizer, but more matte one, which is pretty hard to find these days. So many of them are so glowy. So it's nice to have that option. But luckily, this isn't the last of the test. I'm going to try it out in the morning using my fingertips. Let's see how it applies that way. All right, so this is what the foundation, tinted foundation, whatever, is looking like. Just to apply with my fingertips. I didn't even use a primer, just did my skincare. It's a really light makeup day. We're just hanging out at the house. So it's giving a it's giving like a nice light to medium coverage. Look at the before and versus the after. You still see a little bit of redness peeking through, but overall it really kind of evened out my skin tone and texture. Definitely on the matte side. You know what this seems like a dupe of? It seems like a dupe of the Tarte Sugar Rush Tinted Moisturizer, which I do really like that one a lot. Seems a lot like that. However, I will say that I'm not like liking how this looks on my pores applied this way. I think I would still need to use a primer. Maybe that'll solve it because I see like the little dots like the tinted moisturizer went into my pores, which can be a problem with me for some tinted moisturizers. It doesn't happen with the Tarte ones, but like the texture feel of this plus the amount of coverage that I'm getting is very similar to that one. So possible dupe if you like that one, you might want to give this one a shot but I'm, I'm gonna need to use a primer or just go in with the sponge. Maybe that'll, that'll help. So far out of the three different techniques that I did, my favorite was the sponge and maybe just a different, no, that primer worked, but like just playing around with different primers and seeing what one is best, maybe helping with the dryness around my nose because this isn't as dry using it this way. So options, possibilities, hmm. It's a new day, well, it's the end of a new day. <laughs> Day number three of testing this or whatever. So I did it with some different primer today with my fingertips though. I put on just like the Tarte Hydrating Primer and that seemed to help a little bit with the pores. I'm still not obsessed. I need to find like the perfect combo if I want to use it that way. But then I realized, you know what? There's no SPF in this tinted moisturizer foundation thingy anyway. So I don't love that even though I do use an SPF beforehand. I think it's a good option if you have oily skin though and you might not have the same pore issue I'm having since I'm so dry it like wants to suck up the pigment you know so if I find a perfect primer to pair with that then I'll use it that way but honestly after all this I'm loving it the most with just the primer that I use the first time and applied with the sponge I think it looks beautiful and like I said it's so nice to have an option of a matte medium coverage kind of tinted moisturizer went on so fast so I could still do it really quickly I'll still play around with it but I do really like it with the sponge so Check it out. Let me know if you do try it, what you think of it. I think it's the closest dupe to that Tarte Sugar Rush that I found. And uh, I'll keep you posted. But subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos that I do for beauty and any updates. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.